Well, hello and welcome, people of the internet, to another adventure. My name is Ganyans, and today we're continuing our journey in Gladiator Guild Manager. And this time, I swear, this time we are going to have some battles. If you watched the last video, it was definitely a lot more talking about numbers. We were doing some number crunching, doing some optimization. And unfortunately, some of the battles fell by the wayside. However, this time is going to be much different. We got a championship we got to do, so let's get to it. Uh, we do have a quest that we could do to start. Now, is that potentially dangerous? Uh, yes. So let's do the let's do the championship championship fight first, because of course, if anyone died while we were doing the quests, we would be at a big disadvantage. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap the positions of these, these units. Um, and then I'm going to shuffle these guys down. So ultimately, I think I'm eventually going to send these three to the Shadow Realm. Send them off. Make us some money. Uh, do I want to swap? Hold up just a second. Do I want to swap anything here? This gives eight intelligence. Uh, no, I don't. I was just thinking, do I want to take uh, the spear off? Because it's given quite a bit of strength. But ultimately, I think, I think I'm good. Um... I mean, th this absorbing helmet is going to give way more strength than that ever could. So we're good there. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and fight in this championship. Hopefully this team can hold out. We are a little bit narrow in what we can accomplish. Um, our two mages here aren't really built for what we want to do. Um, and I'm not putting this in yet because I might end up... I'm not sure what I'm going to end up doing with these. Uh, you'll understand if you watch, you can literally just watch like the last five minutes of the episode if you want to figure out what I'm doing with these mages, but I'm not sure yet. These guys have all their stats kind of mostly optimized. Uh, we're still working on, um, obviously he doesn't have items, but it's because we're only doing one shaman at a time. We just have one in case the other one dies. Okay, so uh, I think we can definitely take this crew. Knights, we, we figured out last time, knights kind of suck. Um, and so we can go ahead and set up our units here. Now, why can't we see, ah, because they're spread out. Okay. I totally didn't realize that last time I, I was completely zoomed in. Um, okay. So we do have two separate squads, which is going to kind of screw us up a little bit. Maybe not though. Maybe not though. So if we send one squad up here, maybe this can be like our, you know, healing squad. You can kind of, we can put our archers in the middle. Let me set up this gladiator info first. So as long as we're two units away, right? So if we set up our units here, set up Ayana right down here, you are going to target this guy, get him dead. You should be able to kill him in one hit. Uh, Selena. There you go. You are two spaces away. You, girl, are going to target this guy. Just get them dead. Now, this is a little bit tougher. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the shaman kind of back here a little bit more focused this way. Um, honestly, I don't really care who you who you shoot. I wish I could set the priorities for his totems. Um, that's the only thing I'm kind of missing here, right? Because he sets down a healing and a damage totem. Um... And, like, there, there's no way to target allies here, right? So I'm assuming that this is just him specifically. So I'm just going to set these to normal because it doesn't really matter. I mean, optimally, I, I would just literally have you sit in the back and never enter a fight. But, uh, yeah, we figured out in a 1v1 last time he doesn't exactly do that. Um, and then I think what we can also do is probably just set up the Dark Mage here. Just get off a, a huge blast of damage. Hopefully it be, it's enough. Uh, if not, well, actually, no, I can't do that because I need you two spaces away from Selena. Um, yeah, hopefully hopefully the magic damage is enough. I don't think it's going to be. I think you're going to die pretty quickly. Let's see how it goes. I have a feeling we're actually going to lose one of our archers here. That's probably a bad idea. So let's let's actually do one of these. We'll do this. We'll actually just focus our units all all up here, and then they can come to us. Then our archer can they can back off. As long as you're two units away, right? Boom. Focus those two units. All right. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, we got time for we got one more we can place. Okay. Let's put you down here. Maybe you get the freeze and then you run. I have a feeling you're gonna die first though. Okay, we'll just put you back here. Let's go. Fight it out. Th that was actually... God dang, Cryomancer, you knew exactly what I wanted to get done, my man. Uh, yeah, th these guys got absolutely destroyed. Uh, let's see, where did our archers go? Uh, are you guys in there? There's one. Where's the other one? Are you in there? 
Where are you hiding? Oh, you're way back here. You're just sniping. Okay, I think we're good. This knight just wants to hang on for dear life. I think we're good. I don't think we had any casualties. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. Okay, that was a sweet fight. Um, oh, we got some wargs. I do not care about that at all. So again, they're split up. So I think we're just going to do literally the same exact strategy. And I think that should be more than fine. So let's get you in there. You, Ayana, go ahead and target the archer. Uh, Selena, same thing. Just target the ranged enemies. That's actually more than fine. Let's just go boom. Let's go boom. Perfect. Uh, get the crown mancer in here. Up in the corner. Get the dark mage. Boom. Get it kicking. Let's go. Blow him up. Of course, the wargs are going to come up trying to get the archers, but then our rhino is going to taunt them. Yeah, they, they just get exploded. Um... So especially, we swapped up the archer's second trait here to Wild Heart. We were doing, what was it? We were doing like the fast and powerful. Yeah, we completely cut out movement speed. And now we just have big, we have big first hit damage. Now, eventually we're going to want to level this up. Because once we're at level three, man, that's going to, that's going to be when it starts insane. Whenever they start getting kills and the archers kill pretty consistently, they'll get to re-trigger it, do more big damage. Um, do you want to do this? Yeah, these guys are all super, super weak. Our archers are going to be able to take them out, no problem. Okay, a little bit more straightforward of a fight here. Uh, Ayana, you... Boom, boom. Just take out the back line. Actually, I'm going to put these... Uh, yeah, just a little bit lower, because we should be able to take out the archers fast enough. Same thing. Uh, Selena, put you down here. Just go ahead and target them first, get them out of the way, and then we can take out the warlocks. Ultimately, like, the Warlocks aren't the problem, right? It's the minions that they summon. But the thing is that our Rhino here is just going to taunt them. So it's not going to be a super big deal. Put the Shaman out in the back so that way he doesn't get hit. And then let's go ahead and do, um, let's do the Cryomancer. Then we can slow these guys down. Because ultimately, their knockback is what's going to be the problem. And I think as long as we can do that, we will be fine. So you go ahead and prioritize these guys. Get them dead. Let's go. Nice big freeze. Get them off. Snipe there. This one's already dead. That one's dead. Warlocks are dead. Now it's just the melee units. Easy fight. Totally easy fight. Yeah, once you get rid of the back line, the front line's not much of a challenge. Uh, Pyromancers, I don't... Okay, so I don't really care about these that much. And you also have no health, so you're just literally going to die. Now, you are kind of in the back. That is a little bit of a problem. That might cause us a little bit of an issue. Um, I'm hoping that you can target through them. That would be helpful. And I'm hoping my taunt just pulls these guys in and it makes our archers a little bit more able to target those. Because you probably will be doing... A, how much damage are you doing? Um, Actually, you know what? You're not doing too much damage. I'm actually not super scared of that. And how much damage? 300? Okay, so, you're ca okay, so you, you can cast pretty consistently. Uh, we'll do that. We'll try... Yeah, we'll put you in the middle. We'll try and catch these guys. Put our shaman in the back, of course. And then, uh, yeah, we'll set up for Cryomancer, try and freeze one of these crews. Let's go for it. Oh, she just sniped that Berserker? Okay, that was easy. Yeah, and then once we kill them up, no! We lost Ayana and our Cryomancer. Oh, that is not good. Now... Okay, I didn't, I didn't realize that we could revive mid... Uh, yeah, mid-championship. So that's good. So we got Ayana back up. We could get the Cryomancer. I don't know that we necessarily need to, though. A little bit scared of this, not gonna lie. I have not fought these guys yet. The Purifiers. So what do they do? Burning Light into an enemy target. It's a direct target attack. Uh, can pretty much hit anybody. Okay. Uh, dealing 145 damage, setting them burning, dealing a total of... Oh, that's not a problem at all. And then pushes enemies away from Earth Wings. Oh, I don't care about this at all. And you're all super weak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're taking this. I, I want all the rewards. I want all of them. Uh, so you go ahead and prioritize there. Just get him dead. That's fine. And then prioritize... Yeah, then prioritize support. You're good. Are you good? Range enemies. Boop. Boop. There we go. Get a little bit of our tanky boy in. We'll get our cleric in. I'm going to do all our levels afterwards. I th unless I have like a really tough fight, but I think we should be good here. Is it smart to do levels right now? Yeah, probably, but uh, I'm not going to. And then, you know what? I'm actually not going to do the shaman. I'm just going to do the dark mage. I'm just literally going to try and blow these guys up in one hit. All right, let's go. 
And they all targeted the Dark Mage. Well, they just got absolutely wrecked. And now it's just two melee guys, and they go down mighty fast. Yeah, our archers are super good at picking off enemies. A uh, lot of rangers, couple, easy fight. Just same strategy. Boom, boom. They're just going to, like, shoot around the back. Set this up. Honestly, do I even need... I mean, I am going to set him up. Oh, my. We can have eight... You, this is going to be overkill. This is not even going to be fair. Uh, Sure. I'll send you in, too. Why not? Get in there. Fight. Yeah. Both the Warlocks died. Ranger goes down. Ranger goes down. We're good. Berserker's down. And Ranger goes down. Easy as cake. We did lose our Berserker, but like I said, I, I don't really care about leveling him up. We're going to be selling him off here in a little bit. Another easy fight. Get more resources. Fantastic. I kind of wish there was a... Um, I wish you could do layouts. That would be super nice. If you could have maybe like three layouts. Like set up a crew like this. It would be kind of tough, right? Because the number consistently changes. So I don't know how you would do it. Maybe you could have... Maybe you only have two. Maybe you have two tabs. That's like... So that way you could customize it. Be like... Um, I don't know, maybe let's say like range group, melee group, right? And then you have a drop down. You could do like one unit setup, two unit setup, three unit setup, four unit setup. Maybe that's a lot of customization. I don't know, but I would kind of like that, right? I think that would be kind of cool to have. Then you don't have to go through this every time, right? Because this setup is, is basically what we've been doing every time. So it would just save time and I wouldn't have to necessarily do it every time. Yep, dead, 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 dead. And dead. Okay, next fight. Oh, we lost our shot. How do we lose our shaman? It's okay. What we can do is just take all of your stuff and we'll just pop it right over here. Because you're built the same. And that's why we have you split like that. Uh, a couple dark mages. That's a little scary. Not going to lie. Um... Not necessarily though, because our archers, our archers just shoot, shoot faster. Now, can we hit you? That is a bigger question. That is a bigger question, because um, again, we're not we're not targeting directly. So we're gonna do that. We're actually gonna do this. There we go. Okay, so we do that. Oh, we have eight units. Oh, okay. So this is it's a joke fight. And honestly, you know what? I'm just gonna put these guys in. They're they're not even gonna do anything, but we'll we'll still put them in. All right, go for it. Snipe them back. Boom, boom. Okay, that's one. That's two dead. You're going after the berserker. You're knocked down. There's a whole bunch of crap going on here. Can you heal Ayana? No, but the you took out I you took out the one going after Ayana. That was super nice. Who do we lose? So we lost our Dark Mage. Uh, that's really unfortunate. We lost our Shaman too. Okay, so we might have to put some more health into our Shamans. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, do we keep our Shaman? Huh. Confused there. Alright, so we did all eight of the, I'm going to call it epic. Um, let's see what we get here. Bunch of coins. Very nice. We get some more blueprints, which we desperately needed. Uh, a lot of this uh, mana crystal, which honestly, I mean, I get that you you're supposed to use them for revives, but we are we are loaded on these. And then we have the same resource, five percent of the gladiators maximum stamina every four seconds. Uh, that would be pretty good for something like the the dark mage who just wants a lot of uh, stamina regen. Okay, so let's go through our levels here. Uh, we've been pretty good on health. I don't, I'm not really worried there, and we're good on stamina, so I'm probably just gonna go just balls deep on agility, just make them. Uh, as strong as possible and we're, we're still good on health here you're pretty good on uh yeah stamina and movements higher just because of equipment nice we get another slot so we can get another item for them um shamans here what we're we doing for shamans uh shaman we need to make you a little bit tankier so let's give you a couple a couple little nudges in terms of health and then um let's see where does that bring you with intelligence so let's pop let's pop your items back on see where that brings you straight 129 so let's go ahead and give you one point of intelligence right because um we want we want to be in multiples of 10 and the other two aren't going to do anything for us 
So the other ones I'm going to pop into stamina. Um, again, if you missed the last video, a lot of the stuff is explained why I have it built this way. Um, but our stamina cost is going to keep going up as we level up. And our stamina regen is 5% of our total. So the higher this goes, the higher we're going to want this. Not just to cast this, obviously, but to recover more stamina. Um, at this point, I can go ahead and swap these out, which I desperately want to because they're not really doing anything for us. So on the, on the, uh, on the shaman here, what do we want? We want practical learner. So we're going to take off the anti-capitalist because obviously right now we're actually losing, uh, we're losing intelligence. So let's go ahead and remove this. It was once good. Now it's not so good. We're going to take practical learner. Again, if you missed the last video uh, and you're coming from two videos ago, I explained why this is different than I initially thought and is much better than I originally thought. So we'll take that. We're going to lose instructor because now that we're focusing on less units, I'm going to be taking um, more experience bonuses in the near future. So instead, we're going to lose this and we're going to go for right ascending summoner. Um, so that way, the more totems you summon, the more intelligence we go up more levels, the more intelligence we go up, the more levels that our totems get, and totems are busted. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're not going to learn another one, though. Uh, so, that means that now this shaman... I didn't give you your second talent? Really? Oh, right, that's why. I didn't have this. Okay, so I still need, I need another blueprint before we can do that. Um, you, though, we're giving you a little bit more health, going up to 1,300. And then your stamina is basically the same. Let's see. So we're at default value of 370. Okay. So we need to just crank this up. Yeah. There we go. Do that. How are we doing otherwise? Oh, I have these built a little bit. To Wait, have I not reset? Ah, that's why they're off a little bit. Um. So this one I have not reset. Um, that's why. So th this one, I still, right? Yes, this is the one I reset last time because the, the agility changes the cooldown here. So not on that, obviously. So my cooldown here is a little bit longer. Um, this, this shaman, while he's lower level, can cast his totems much quicker. Um, so I'm going to need to work on that, on, on resetting him, which I guess I can technically do. Why did I not reset him? There was a reason. You'd think I'd remember, considering I recorded the episode before, literally about half an hour ago. Um, okay, well, we will reset you then. Um, so we're going to bring you up to about 30, 36. Let's see, 36 or 38. Where do we need to be? 38. That's going to get us to our minimum cooldown and, and uh, execution time. So we're good there. We don't have to go any higher in agility. Uh, we're going to go up again, getting to our 1300. We're going to put in a little bit more stamina. Um, probably, let's see, where are we at? We're at 320, but we're getting how much from our values? We're at a default of 320, so we probably want to go up to like 545. That's probably good. Maybe a little bit more. I'll do one more. Uh, nothing in movement because we're not moving around. And we need nothing in strength, right? Uh, no strength. That's what I have literally in call all caps no strength so then the rest is going to go into intelligence but remember we're trying to stay in multiples of 10 so here we can go up to we'll stay at 101 we could actually this could go up to 111 right um could go up to 111 i think i'm going to do maybe that yeah let's do that let's go up to 111 boom nice okay and then of course we're one uh we're one level behind but that's fine Okay, so we are good there. We need to revive you. That's fine. Uh, what else do we need to do? You need to get... Right, I don't have the blueprints. Okay, let's let's move forward here. Let's take a look at items. Is there anything here I want to buy? I didn't like the Book of Force. Uh, heavy Leather Gov's not really important. The Iron Dagger is okay. But ultimately, I don't think it's really worth it. I think I'm going to hold out on it. I think at this point... Yeah, I'm going to hold out. Maybe we can find another steel spear. Um, 5% of the gladiator's maximum stamina. 
we're pretty good here. Maybe once we get one more level, I'll put that over here on the shaman. All right, let's go ahead and move forward here. Um, do I want to buy any, 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 maybe I should wait until, so I'm probably going to wait until there's a, a gladiator that I actually want. And I don't know what that gladiator is just yet. Uh, one of the things I want to do, yes. So let's see what we do. What did we unlock? Stormbringer is a melee fighter. Crowd control AOE. Fighters, um, Stormbringer's fighter with stealth and a melee AOE attack that knocks down enemies during any weather other than clear. Okay. So we already have... Um, our shamans like heavy weather. They like rain or heavy wind. So they already like that. That seems like a pretty cool unit to get. A priestess. Able to hire priestess support spellcaster that can heal, cast magical shields, and buff allies. So I think that is definitely going to be one that we want to go for. Metal brute. Able to hire metal fighters with melee attacks and the ability to execute enemies with low health percentage. Oh, okay. So this is kind of what I was looking for. These are like all units that I want to get. Um, I think the priestess most of all, because I don't know that the cleric is all that good. Um, right. He has his, he has his healing AOE, but other than that, like I'm not so high on him. His attack and, and shield are kind of just fine. Um, let's do undead from the mountain. Undead Yeti just broke through the city gates. I need your help immediately. You know what? I maybe should have waited till. Let's just go ahead and revive you. Um, and I need to revive you. How many units can I bring to this? I can bring five units. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll we'll help you out. Twenty-two thousand health. That's nothing. What else do you do? Actually, just a claw attack. Absorbs eighty percent damage from all projectile and area effect attacks. Well, that might be a little bit of a problem. Um. But ultimately, I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem because we have a bunch of healing from here. Oh, let's let's totally level you up. And we're just going all in on strength because, again, the uh, our, our absorb here goes off strength and our area here goes off strength. And we have plenty of health. Uh, and then we can also level up our cleric. Now, what do I want to do with the cleric? Uh, let's see. So I need 45 strength to max the range on healing circle. We already did that. Um, we could bring his agility down to minimize the cooldown execution time. Otherwise, all the rest of it is going into intelligence. So I'm going to put it all into intelligence right now just to increase the actual healing he does. There we go. That's a big increase in healing. That's what, like 150, I think, about that? Um, yeah, so damage is reduced from range. That kind of sucks. Um, that being said, I don't have any better melee units, so it kind of just is what it is. Um, hopefully you can stay alive. That, that's what I'm going to say. Hopefully you can stay alive. And there's nothing really else I can give you. All right, fight it out. Uh, Cleric, maybe you shouldn't go in. Okay, well, you prick. You just had to run in first, didn't you? I mean, I could have set him back more, but I think with two, yeah, with two healing totems here, you're you're not going anywhere. Three healing totems, yeah, the shaman's gonna have plenty of time to just summon a bunch, and he's gonna go down slowly but surely. Let's go ahead and speed it up. I'm a little worried that he could keep kicking us back here, and eventually, oh my god, you're not even doing anything. You're literally just laying down there. Yeah, so our cleric got a little feisty there. I owe you. Sadly, my iron workers will not forget this incident anytime soon. I fear they will be locked in their homes for weeks. As if the district wasn't poor enough already. <laughs> oh, mistress. Uh oh, Baroness. Uh what are you doing? Can't blame them. Fish this thing, this Yeti. Uh, right, we need to pick our rewards. Um, that's a lot of stone. I can't pass that up. Gain, grants a magical gains a magical shield that absorbs a total amount of 100 damage per each level of the gladiator yeah that's kind of bad it's not great i wish the select i think i mentioned this before i wish the selection panel was more um direct it's kind of hard to tell which one is actually selected and which one isn't right like now it's selected now it's not okay uh yeah so we we lost our cleric huh uh, stopping the bridge assassination. Well, let's go ahead and we'll just we'll just revive you. Uh, you did get a level up, so we will just go. Yeah, we'll just go back into intelligence again. Where did that bring it up? Yeah, another 150. Sweet. 
Uh, Shaman, again, let's go ahead and just get your intelligence up. Boom. Another, another 10. Stopping bridge assassination. Oh, my lord. But rumor tells that a group of bandits await him at the bridge. I believe they aim to assassinate him. Intercept and eliminate them first. Hmm. Difficulty to battle 11. This is kind of a weird way to show difficulty because I, I have no reference on what the maximum difficulty is. It'd be one thing if it said like four out of five or five out of five, but it's just 11. Right? Like in the Coliseum or in the um, championships, it said like 9.26. It's like, okay, is that out of 10? Is that out of 50? Is that out of 10,947.25? I don't know. It's just a it's just a number. Um, what kind of associate? Now consider it done. We'll help you out. Whatever you ask of us. The other people we're a little skeptical of, but you, Mistress, you, Miss Baron, uh, Baroness. Uh, no, we we just we just do what you ask. You take out them ranged units. Boom, boom. You, who are you going to prioritize? You're uh, honestly, I don't really care. Just just pick off people. Just stay in the back and pick off units. You actually probably move you back a little bit um, since you have really good range. Just stay in the back. Come on up front. You know what? You stay a little bit farther back. You you need to you slow your roll here. Let's get the shaman in. Uh, you guys are still healing. Honestly, I mean, not that you have. We can give you a little bit of equipment, I guess. Can't have. Yeah, you can't have two of the same thing, right? Um, sure. Put that on you. Totems are always good. Uh, let's get it. Let's get it twisted. Oh, whoa, what is this? Yeah, let's turn off that gladiator info. I don't need that. And all the back lines dead. It's just the front melee units. Rhino has more than enough HP to take him out. Enough said. Enough said. God, Rhino is absurd. The bridge should be safe now. Uh, what do we want from rewards? Probably just coin, to be completely honest. We have a lot of stone now. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the coin. Um, cause at this point, well, there's nothing here. That is a lot of health though. Um, I don't think I need that much health though is the thing. I'm not even close to losing it. So I think, yeah, I'm just, this could be good on somebody at some point. I'm, I'm going to wait till it's actually good though. I'm just going to hold on to my coin. We could update the shop for free. Let's do that. Anything worth getting? There is another ring of mana that I can get. Um, that's a consumable, so don't don't get it confused. Uh, and go ahead and get that when you don't need it. Ring of manias. Do I care about the ring of manias? The ring of manias is pretty good. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab a ring of manias. And we can always just put it here. Again, we kind of have... Like, oh, right. You already have it equipped. I totally forgot about that. That's fine. We can still put it here. We can kind of start working on two separate shaman builds. Which is totally fine. Any other guild uh, guild members... Guildy members here. We do have the Invigorator. But now I have three other units I'm looking to get. Let's go ahead and update. Uh, the Drummer. I don't really care about... None of the units I'm looking for are here. So we'll just hold off. We'll just hold our gold. No, No real rush. Um, I could though, uh, let's see, I could update something, expand item slots, don't really care about, don't really care about that just yet. What does upgrading this do? Cost to reset is 10 gold. Wow. Okay. That is much better than the 180 gold I've been spending. Um, oh, 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 hold up. 10 gold per gladiator level. So it's still, it still halves it. Um, but, but yeah, um, Able to upgrade traits. Okay, we don't care about this, especially since we can't do it. Um, yeah, so that that's a big thing. Upgrading universal items. I find it strange that we can't upgrade the basic items. It's only the green items that we can upgrade. And I can't even see what they upgrade to. Unless they give a preview. Are you going to give me a preview? Nope, it just upgrades. I mean, 60 agility is still good. But I do wish it would give you a preview if you hovered over like everything else. Um, guards gla join gladiators. Guards are interested in joining your gladiator guild. I'd hate to see them go, but they seem to admire you and ignore my advice. Yeah, so we can check them out, but ultimately, I mean, they're cheaper, but none of these are really what we're looking for. 
I mean, we already, especially when they cost money, right? We already hired a couple of them, and I'm already going to sell some of them. So I don't, I don't really care about having them here with us. Uh, oh, we're getting a gift. The Baroness is so grateful for our help that she has offered one of her best fighters to join our guild. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, so I don't care about these middle three. Oh, although you have level three talents. That's pretty good. Gears, a machine gunner, or we have a hook bot. Grabs an enemy, dealing 235 damage, knocks him down, and pulls him towards himself. Eh, I don't care about that. That's way too basic. What do you do? Machine gunners? Rapidly fires 10 bullets, each dealing 59.6 damage. Accuracy is very low. Um, now, unfortunately, you have two talents here that I do not care about in the slightest. Um, and that's the only thing you have. 10 bullets... So, you're doing 600 damage? Um, but to be fair... No, and you're even... Yeah, no, I don't really care about this. And do I have to pay for him? No, I get him for free. Okay, well, that is slightly different then. If I'm getting them for free... Ooh, I wish I knew which one I could sell for the most, because that's kind of what I would be going for. Um... Practical Learner. 20% of the damage block releases a heat blaze damaging enemy. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you, and I'm pro whatever I take, I'm I'm very likely to sell here. This says minus 30%, but I'm not paying anything for them. Okay. I'm gonna buy you. I'm very likely. Yeah, for a thousand gold. Yeah, worth it just to sell you. Alright. And I can't do any level 3. What is that? Level 12 we need to get to. Okay. Uh, undead from the mountains. During the last several weeks, we have had a few groups of very peculiar undead descend from the hollow mountain and attack the city. Some hey, there's that rough. spear we were looking for. I need you to go up there and find out what is going on. Uh. Okay, luckily I clicked on the, on the right button. That appeared right, right as I was clicking out of it. Um, okay, put you up here. You target that one. You target whatever you would like. I literally don't care what you kill. You go there. You go there. Boom. Fight it out. And the mage is dead. <laughs> and one of those is dead. Now, unfortunately, this one's going to chase around Ayana, but the totems are going to heal. Yeah, you're dead. Easy enough. And the shaman got down four totems, well, which is what we're hoping for. Now you see. We're up against not a usual spontaneously risen undead from the crimson east something is off um do i want iron or do i want wood i think at this point let's see so this needs iron stone iron stone wood i don't know i guess probably wood it's tough to say maybe just go iron iron seems like it's harder to come across and then we're going to take the spear uh, most of their flesh appears to have decayed long time ago. Now we can put the spear over here on Selena, and at this point, Selena has surpassed Ayana. Now we can't have that. Uh, we cannot have that in the slight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of swappy swaps, and let's see. So just seeing what what is on what is on who. These can go over here. These can go over here because Ayana is our girl. So we got to keep her the best that she can be. Now Selena's behind. Which is totally fine. I mean, good lord that... I mean, look at this. So on her first hit, she's dealing a, two, a 100 extra percent damage of this. So she's hitting for 1,700 on her first shot. Just utterly insane. Now that's not even true because she gets an additional 45% agility. So she's going up to like, what, close to 300? Obviously just under, right? Uh, Yeah, just absurd amounts of damage. Uh, we already did this one. Let's go ahead and keep playing. We still got plenty of gold. Still waiting. Uh, item market here is going to change in a little bit. Carrying out the bridge assassination. Let's go ahead and wait for these guys to come back. We can get the art. Anything else in here? We have increased intelligence and health points. That seems pretty good. Um, it's a lot of intelligence points and health points. Yeah, we have so much gold. I'm just going to buy that. I don't even know who I'm going to put it on yet. 
Um, advanced mage staff. Now I think I already, I do have already, I do have one of those already. I'm probably not going to pick this one up. Um, because we're, you know, this isn't a situation where we're necessarily always using two shaman in the same battle. We are using both our archers in the same battle. So I do want both of them built. Um, nothing else really here that I care about. Let's go ahead and do carrying out the bridge assassination. What have you done? The person you cleared the way for is cruel and corrupt beyond measure. Local folk gather some goods for you. So long as you promise to keep them away from our lands. Um... Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, this isn't worth it. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, we want to be beloved by her. Uh, we're not about to do that. No, thank you. Get out of my face, good sir. Actually, you're not a good sir. You're a prick. Get out of my face, you prick. All right. Uh, we still don't have enough for ten v ten. Uh, and I don't. I do not have a unit unit yet that I am okay with doing. Or do I? They were pretty low level. Let's let's try a one v three. It's just purifiers? What do purifiers do? Like anything? Like nothing? They do burning? Uh oh man, that's annoying. It does they do knockback. Um How fast do you move? You're pretty slow and you don't have a lot of health. Oh, dude. Okay. Now we screwed this up before. But the thing is, with Ayana before, the units were slow. She's just going to knock these guys out before they even get close enough to, to even touch her. One, two, three. Easy. <laughs> yeah, that, that went okay. That went okay. <laughs> so stupid. Um... Okay, I'm gonna hold on to my books just until uh, until we actually need them. Let's go ahead and, and proceed further. We're gonna get a gladiator marker upgrade. So hopefully here, get one of the units that I was waiting for. Um, Druid, no, no, unfortunately nothing I'm looking for still. Um, okay, we're gonna hold out for a little bit longer. What do, what do you do? Uh, hits his extremely loud drums taunting enemy and making them attack. Ignores 40% of all types of damage. What? Double from range deck and AoE. So, is the drummer just better than the rhino? There's no scaling on this. It's just 40% of all types of damage. Oh, Okay, I guess not, because the Rhino, we can scale his preventative to 35, and it's double for range and AoE, so it would go up to 70% for range and AoE attacks. So, uh, there is a little bit of, of push and pull between the two on which you would prefer. I mean, I could go with an Assassin, but I, I don't know. He does have a lot of stuff here. So, like, the stealth is only good for, like, one time, right? Shadow Strike hits an enemy dealing 507 damage, knocks them down, sets them bleeding. Uh, bleeding scales off of Int. Uh, 7.6 damage each 0.5 seconds. How long does that stay? Probably forever, I'm guessing. You have block and you have attack. So, really, the only thing you're doing is just applying bleed, and I don't know if that's super necessary. Yeah, we'll just continue going. Undead for mountains. We found a bigger group of undead in Hollow Mountain. This might lead us closer to their place of origin. Oh, good lord. Uh, yep. We'll help you out, Baroness. We do anything for you. Okay. You. Up here. Kill him. Uh, and then you are eventually going to kill him. We'll set you to nine. You are going to be back here. You are going to kill him. And then I guess we'll set you to nine. And there's no one else I really care about. These are all kind of the same thing. So just, boop, place you up front. Place you in the middle so that we don't charge in immediately like a dingus. Get rid of that. Two shamans in the back. Uh, what do I got? Two, space for two more. All right, mages. Blow them up. Let's go. They've been frozen. They've been burned. They've been exploded and pulled in. And now the archers are just... Yep, just take easy. Easy as cake. We're on their tail. Yeah, we are. 
Um, okay, let's get more, let's get more stone. It seems like we're always behind on stone, so this is a pretty good way to jump ahead in that regard. Uh, let's keep moving forward. We have an item market update here in a little bit. Hopefully we get another quest coming in in a second. Actually, I still have this. Increase intelligence. Yeah, let's just throw this on. So you can have, yeah, so you can have two different cloaks, just not two of the same cloak. Okay, and that'll give you a pretty nice little health boost that I don't have to worry about now. Okay, let's keep going. It's a rainy day. Oh, we can do this now. I don't want to do the 10v10, though. I don't think we have a crew that's good enough for that. Um, might as well just create new battle choices. It's free. One versus many. That is kind of a little bit terrifying. Let's do the 2v2. That seems like the easiest one. Uh, especially when it's just this. We just go Rhino Shaman and just smoke him. Yeah, I mean, he just immediately gets down two totems. Yeah, so see how low his, his stamina goes? So he gets two, two totems up pretty quickly, but then he's got to wait a long time. Yeah, with three totems, easy. Good, or three damage totems. Yeah, did you see how high those levels were? Can I just close this? No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, they were up to, like, level 19 and 21. They were doing absurd levels of damage. Nice. So we get more items for you. Actually, we had more items for you, right? It's the next level. We get another trait. Um, yep. Yeah, more strength. Just make you a beefier boy. You hit for a little bit more. You prevent a little bit more damage. And, of course, you increase the area in which your roar hits. Perfect. Go a little bit more. Nice. We have another, uh, we have another cost reduction here coming up in a little bit. Item market. What is this? Uh, it's consumable. Don't really care about the consumables right now. Increases strength by 20 and health by 800. Yep. Stamina by 550 and intelligence. Yep. Uh, okay, but that's that's it. Ooh, what is this actually? Damage storage crystal. Stores all damage received until it reaches 100 per this gladiator's level. So, right now it'd be 1,000, 1,100. Then explodes for 10% stored damage, hitting all areas within range 2. Um... That doesn't seem great. So it's good in melee fights. But it's only 10%. So it's only exploding and dealing 100. That's like nothing. I'm not wasting money for that. Pretty crazy. Strength by 20. Who? Let's see. So you don't care about strength. You're already maxed on strength. We could put it here. I mean, that's kind of overkill. But okay. Until we find something better. And then stamina and intelligence. So, I mean, that's just going to be good here, right? Uh, but it's only intelligence six. So, we are losing... We're losing a little bit of intelligence for more speed. So, maybe we just put that on our second build here. Right? And then we don't have to worry about swapping items around. That's probably the best way to go about it. Undead from the mountains. Oh no! Oh no! Um. Oh, but there's so much good stuff. Oh my god, so many coins. Oh, I want it. Oh, I want it bad. Damage against burning target is increased by 70%. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're going to do it. So, here's the thing, though. Is that we can easily pick off these units. So, these ones are not a problem at all, right? Just target them first. Ah, god dang it. God dang it. Priority system, man. Oh my shit. There we go. God dang it, man. Okay. Priority system. You, you need an update. This is, this is rather annoying. Yes. Okay. Especially since you can... I still don't think you should be able to move around the map. Um, maybe some people, oh, I guess, I guess it's only useful if you're zooming in, right? You're doing this and you're watching the battle, but like, if you're this zoomed out, man, just freaking lock it. Okay. Um, Selena, you come in, you're going to, of course, target these guys. I guess the easiest way is just click over here, right? Okay. Uh, now you're going to come in, you stand back, you chill, chill the hell out. You go back there. 
Uh, you guys can come in up here. And just another shaman. Fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's get it twisted. Yep. All, all the mobs are dead. Now all we got to worry about is... Cleric, don't you dare get hit. Focus. Focus on the rhino. Focus on... You dingus. Ah, oh, Cleric, you idiot. So I don't think Rhino is dying anytime soon. I um, think that's pretty easy. Now, unfortunately, he is a boss, right? So he's not going to get debuffed by the Dark Mage. Um, and go down to... Uh, you know what? This is super helpful. So I, I didn't realize this. Um, so I don't play a lot of auto battlers, right? So I'm, I'm assuming for most people who play auto battles... This was straightforward, but this is actually the first time I've realized it because I had the gladiator info up, which it actually wasn't, but it was still showing. Anyway, um, so now let's see what will come from the cave. Okay, I want to hear Baroness speak first. So, whenever the cooldown is gone on a skill, if they have stamina for it, they will use that ability automatically, and they'll prioritize. I don't know how they'll prioritize what is used first, but basically once the cooldowns start, it makes it easier because they're not all going to pop off at the same time. So that's interesting. I, I uh, you know, it, it's com It's like, it makes sense once I saw it, but it was something I didn't fully put together because I don't play auto battlers all that much. Um, Yeah, let's take the coin. We'll take the ring. You got mad. Well, suck it. Uh, I'm helping the pretty girl. Okay. Pretty girl, damsel in distress. Uh, let's go ahead. Agility up. Boom. Uh, shaman. What were we doing with our shaman again? Uh, you need a lot more intelligence. Boom. There we go. Uh, you are big dead. Do I care? We don't really have any fights coming up for a little bit, so I don't care that much. Just recover. Get healthy. Okay, we're not good. New gladiators, and we got new discounts. Perfect. Anybody good? Anybody good? We got drummers. We got druids. No. Again, nothing that I'm looking for. We could update the shop. Uh, let's update the shop once. Anything good? Oh, ooh, two units that we really want. Okay, fantastic. Um, yeah, it doesn't even matter. Now, actually, luckily, he doesn't have his talents already, his traits already picked. And she has a pretty decent one already. So I'm going to buy both of these units. Sick. And they're both discounted. Man, could we have gotten luckier? Okay. So we want to buy Stormbringer, opening you up. And then we want to open up the one for the Priestess. And then, of course, I do want to get one for the Metal Brute. Hopefully, he's pretty good. That's kind of... It sounds like exactly what I'm looking for, to be completely honest. So let's go ahead and buy you. I don't even know fully what you do yet, but we're still going to buy you because you sound sweet. Should I have looked at what they do first? Yeah, probably. Um, okay. Okay. Priestess, let's take a look at your kit here. So you have a heal with a range 8, which is crazy. Restores 552 health to a friendly gladiator. Unable to use on herself. Okay, so she is a ranged healer, um, which is probably better than the cleric, right? Because the cleric, I kind of had him up front. Well, because he's a melee attacker, right? He wants to be up front, and he ended up just dying a lot. And since we're ranged, this area 4 isn't really helping him out that much. So, the Priestess might be better there. Gives a shield to a friendly gladiator, protecting them for 506 damage points. So, that's kind of nice. We got a little bit of prevention, too. What are we up for? Okay, so she is very stamina heavy. Uh, she scales there off intelligence. This is all agility, right? Okay, so I think that's consistent. I think, basically, execution time and cooldown always scale off agility, it seems like. Um, this scales off, okay, so both these scale off intelligence, good, so we're down to two stats. Uh, melee attack, literally could not care less, and then she has bless, gives friendly gladiator a bless buff, which increases their main stat. So she's a, oh, okay, so good thing we didn't go for the invigorator, because she's kind of doing the same thing. So she is a healer and a buffer. It's pretty good. Um, and this also scales off intelligence, sweet, so... She doesn't need that much agility, it doesn't look like. Oh, yeah, she does. <laughs> she needs a lot of agility, at least for her shield to go down. Her heal, I'm not so concerned about. Bless definitely needs to go down, but it's almost maxed. Uh, shield needs to go down quite a bit. Uh, does scale off 8%, so that's not that's not too bad. Um, let's see. So 25 is already minus 2. I would want another minus 2, so we'd need to go to 50 and then half of that, so we're looking to get around around 62 to max this out. 
Uh, it's pretty high, but there have been a lot of items that come up that are both intelligence and agility, so that might not be too bad. The rest we probably just want to stack in stamina, because a lot of her... Bless is not that expensive, but shield, shield and heal are, are pretty expensive. Okay, so she's a pretty good character. Let's take a look at the Stormbringer. Um, Thor reference, perhaps? Maybe old buffer? <laughs> <laughs> Buffer the Thor. Uh, he has a smash. Hits the ground with his powerful hammer, dealing... Okay, definitely. <laughs> if it was questionable before, it's confirmed now. Hits the ground with his powerful hammer, dealing 655 to all enemies in the area of 1.64. Okay, so pretty small area, but we can increase that with strength. Um, damage increases with intelligence. Okay. Um, very low strength scaling. If the weather is not clear. The attack also not... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, if the weather is not clear, the attack also knocks out enemies for 1.06 seconds. And it can only go up to 1.75. Scales mostly off agility. Okay, so he's kind of a mixed build. Although his damage also scales off agility, so that's kind of nice. And, of course, cooldown and execution time. are Okay, so he also scales off strength here, but very low. Okay, that's a lot of difference. Stealth starts the battle invisible. Leave stealth with first attack. That is cool. I was not super high on the assassin. This is cool because we don't have a unit that knocks down right now and knockdown is really powerful. And then of course he has a weapon block. Okay, so he's, he's pretty decent, right? He does a lot of AOE damage and with the knockdown, knockdown that's super cool. Um, do I think he's like a busted unit? No, I think he's super solid. I think he's kind of what we're looking for. And I honestly think he's kind of decent for uh, like the 1v1s, right? Because he automatically gets the first attack off. He knocks them down if it's if it's uh, cloudy out or if it's not clear. So he already starts in advantage, knocks him down, and then can get hit. Now, the thing is, he's a pretty slow attacker. So that's not great. And his block scales off agility. Okay, so that's good. So that means as we're decreasing the cooldown here in execution time, which comes down to four at minimum... We're also increasing his block. Okay, so I will probably look into how I want to build him moving forward. I'm not going to build him right now. Um, Priestess is super solid, though. We will definitely build her for, for next episode because we're coming up here to the end. I'm probably going to stop around the end of the month here. Uh, before we do the next championship, I definitely want to plan around how to build out the Priestess. So we have a Ring of Death. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do our, our 1v1 or 1v many. Let's do 1v many. Okay, I might have made a mistake. Oh, they're all super low level. Okay. Um, so that being the case, do I just set up a shaman? No, because the shaman's going to get distracted because he's kind of an idiot. Um, do we just set up rhino? Oh, and I can set you up anywhere? You have like no health. I will literally sit you right here and you'll all die. Right? There's no way we lose this. Right? I'm questioning myself. <laughs> um, there's no way we lose this, right? Okay. Let's go. Especially with the burning. Right? Because it's based off a percentage of my health. Oh, maybe, maybe maybe this is going poorly. Now, that being said, if we can kill off some units... Speed this up. Uh, nope. Nope. Rhino's not doing so hot. Yeah, he was having trouble clearing off. Yeah, because he just runs out of stamina. Okay, so Rhino's not very good for this kind of 1v1. I thought that might have been easy, but uh, yeah, not, not the case. Especially with this going on now. Um, maybe? Oh, come on, Rhino. So close. If we if we had a healing item on him, man, I probably could have done it. Like, if I increase his health just a little bit. Or increase his stamina a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so Rhino is not the best unit to 1v1. We definitely need to... I, I need to figure out a better... Well, that was 1v many, actually. Not even 1v1. So I don't know what unit would be best for that. All right, so let's go. We have Undead from Mountains. We'll wait for the item update, and then we'll uh, we'll call it here. 
as soon as we get these all taken care of. What is this? Increase agility by five, intelligence by three, stamp. So it's kind of just an all around. Well, obviously it's good for assassins, but we're not building an assassin, so I'm not crazy about that. Ring of Mana. Wouldn't that be good on you? I feel like that would be very good on you. Um. Yeah, so the thing is, right? It, so, I think building... Hmm. Building to try and hit their caps on regular... It's hard, so it's hard to build them without knowing what the end game items look like, right? Because let's say, for example, that her best item was an agility wep was like an agility item. Well, then I wouldn't want to dump a bunch of stat points into agility. But if her best items are all are all intelligence, then I need to hit her cap. So the reason I say that is like, do I want to give her, do I want to base her intelligence points off the items and then try and hit the, her strength and agility caps with the skill points? Um, I mean, that's what I'm going to do because this ring is good regardless. Um, increases strength and agility by 15 points. Who, let's see, who did we have that really needed strength and agility? Was it you? I mean, you kind of do. Right, you need to hit all your all your cooldown stuff with agility, and you scale off agility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's I mean, regardless, this is gonna be a good item for whoever we we have it for. Um, yeah, don't really care about this. Increase in intelligence and stamina. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take that and put it on one of our one of our shamans. Once he gets a level up, he's gotta get to level 10 first to open up a slot for that. Um, yeah, and then we're going to hit here at the end of the month. We're going to pay our wages. Boom. And then we have a championship coming up. Um, let's go ahead and do this undead from the mountains a first, though. Was summoning them. I need you to kill him and those undead around him. Oh, there's two. There's two yetis. Now, yetis are, are much weaker than they have been. We are ready, my lady. Oh, we got a mech suit coming up. Okay. Well, first, we got to win the fight, of course, you know. I uh, got a necromancer. Should be able to take out the necromancer, no problem. Now, the question is, are you going to be able to shoot him? That, I, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to target him because you got two big chonkers in the way. Um, you are dead. Let's bring you back. So you get in there. Cleric, you get in the back. We got two shamans. Boom, boom. We got our cryo. We got our dark mage. Send him. Nice, freeze them all up. Can you shoot the necromancer? You missed. Ah, there we go. Selena got him. Okay, now now it's easy fight. Especially with these are only level thirty, they're not going to be able to do enough damage. Yeah, see, we still have our cleric here, just getting completely wrecked, knocked down over and over and over again. Just not great. Now the rhino's just taking a bunch of damage, but Selena and Ayana taking them out. The dark mage doing some AOE. Cryomancer, unfortunately, not really getting any freeze, but I mean the totems. Did you see the amount of totems? Holy moly. So many heals, so much damage. Uh, apparently, we just solved the mystery. Just got a steam achievement. Amazing job. We'll get this bastard back to life and start the torture interrogation until he admits that he is the high necromancer's doing. Uh, We're going to say best of luck with the torture. We're going to collect. What do we want? Do we want wood? We could go with the stone. That's a lot of stone. I think I'm just going to go with the coin. Uh, and then we'll get this. Every seven hits, the suit explodes, damaging all enemies in an area of 1.75, dealing 5% of their max health and knocking them down for half seconds. The wearer is also knocked down. Hmm. That's kind of decent. It's kind of decent. Best of luck with the torture. Okay then, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. That's where we're going to hold up this episode. Um, so basically, I'm going to go into the tank. I'm going to figure out what caps, like what points we need to hit to cap her out. Because I think the priestess is going to end up being pretty good. But I got to figure out how we want to build her. And of course, I'm going to look into what traits we're going to give her. I still don't even know what trait, what the third level traits we're going to get. That's going to be huge. Once you start getting in those, those will probably be pretty busted. Um... Yeah, if you guys like the video, 
Hopefully you did. This one had a, a little bit more fighting compared to the last one. Uh, but if you did, make sure you like the video. That lets me know that you guys like the content. That lets YouTube know you guys like the content. And of course, then YouTube pushes out to other people and then they can enjoy the content just as well. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do, pl we do play all kinds of roguelikes and roguelites, deck and dice builders and tactical strategy games, but we also play so much more. Guys, I've been Ganyans. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.